The year is 1885. The heat is hell. The night is young, and the air is thick, filled with gloom, despair, fear, and the smell of rotting death. I know what you're thinking, and you're wrong. This ain't your typical western. No, sir. No cowboy riding off into a beautiful sunset bullshit. No, sir. Reed. This. This is the story of the toughest sons of bitches to ever roam this here ground. Above snakes and below the sun. This is the story of the Curtain Call Gang. I don't know about this one, Frank. I say we light a shuck and I tell it on out of here. Place got bad luck written all over it. Now usually I don't agree with old five men over there, but Frank, I think you should reel in your horns on this one. Something just ain't right about this here vibe. What's superstition when you're favored by the gods? Excuse me, y'all. Have y'all seen a gal named Trisha? She about like this tall? Hey. Excuse me, y'all. Have y'all seen a gal named Trisha? She about this tall, about green eyes? You sure? Excuse me. Sheriff, have you seen a gal named Trisha? She about this tall, green eye, brown hair? Be positive. No. Yo, why does no one want to help me? Now that I got everybody's attention, I'm looking for a young gal named Trisha. Came here about 30 days ago looking for work. Has anybody seen or heard of my love? I'm not sure where you're from, but here in Davil Valley, firing in an establishment is considered breaking the law. And that makes you, sir, a lawbreaker. Wade? Do this town a huge favor and escort this young lad over to our jail facilities. Ma'am, I'm just looking for my wife. Now, Is sir, it... we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the way where you end up strung up and hung up. Don't make me, don't never mind. <laughs> Things seem pretty damn normal to me. I'm with you when you ride. Now, I know this ain't no ace high, but I'm ready to start bending out the elbow. <laughs> now, I hope you three ain't come here to cause no disturbance. I'd hate to have to fill up my jail tonight. Oh, no, ma'am. We came in search of some fine whiskey and some entertainment. We don't start no trouble at all. We just finish it. <laughs> well, then. My name is Lady Packer. First drink's on me. Hey, bartender, can you get these three a cowboy cocktail on the house and point them in the direction of the inn? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you got a death wish? Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Scared to look me in my eyes. You want to take this outside? No. I'm not one to lick another man's boot, but this... This is clearly a case of a man that is consumed by his own britches. Whether it be his taste for brown water that's exceeded his common sense, or a case of a man being controlled by nothing more than the head that lies between his two legs. Quite as kept, he just signed his name on the dotted line. Death by Diamondback. 
Have you ever heard the story about the woman in the snake? <laughs> Gather around, everyone. The story is about a woman that finds a snake dying by the side of the road. Being a creature of habit, she decides she couldn't let the animal just die. So she takes it in, nurtures it, brings it back to good health, you know, making it her own. Now just what the fuck are you talking about? As soon as the snake is fully healed, it bites her. Slowly succumbing to her wounds, the woman asks the snake, why did you bite me? And what did the snake say, Frank? The snake responded, because I'm a snake and it's in my nature. <laughs> that was one hell of a shot, Frank. Oh, now you promised me. You told me you weren't gonna start any problems. Now here we are. Somebody lying dead here in my town. I'm fairly disappointed. Now, that was fair. That old drunk bastard demanded a duel. Fair? Maybe in some other savage establishments, but this here is my town. Once you pass that Duval Bridge, you follow my rules. Now that's a ton of bullshit. And if anybody like to do something about it, might I remind you that's breaking the law against the law, which is punishable by death. Go on. Bear will be posted in about three hours. I'm sure I'll see y'all then. Go on. You too. Don't get. Crazy how they caught the both of us. Figured it was only a matter of time. This place, this shithole, it ain't what it seems, bub. You ever notice the people in this town seem a little bit kooky, willing to throw a feather in jail? You're lucky you got your gang. I came in this shithole alone. And people who come here alone? They don't ever leave. I have been here for a few days just seeking answers and I haven't gotten a single damn answer and now I'm being prosecuted. What's your name, sir? Lionel. I come from about three towns over from the sun from here. I'm looking for my love. Two peas in a pod is what we are. Unfortunately, we fell on hard times and some man came by our town offering work. Listen, sir, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not even asking you to get me out of here. But if you do find my love, tell her. Can you tell her that I tried? I'd forever be in your debt. Thank you. Say, what is your name? Frank Jones. She ain't getting no pretty. It's like Frank Jones? He, Frank Diamondback Jones? Well, shit, y'all the curtain call gang. We, we heard all about how you tore up the West. <laughs> and uh, honestly, for a long time, I thought y'all was a fairy tale. How I was locked up with the baddest summer bitches and the, and the fucking, I'm locked up with the curtain call. Hey, wait, 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 before you go, what is that saying that y'all have anyway? Curtains, bitch. Something's in the water. And it ain't gold. All right, I gotta be honest with you. We gotta get up out of here now. This place ain't fit for no color folk like us. That wretched woman in this town, something ain't right. He's right. Now I know you don't run from no sign of trouble, and Lord knows we got your back. Y'all gonna quit loud gagging and tell me what's going on? While you were paying your debt to society, we marched right on over to Lady Packer to pay your fine. Uh, let me just say that 
I don't easily get shaken these days. But something about that woman is just off. She and Wade informed us again that we couldn't get you out for at least three hours. So, we decided to be a nuisance and just sit in. We then asked her about the town and how it came to be, you know, since it just popped up like a grew out the town. She began to feed us a story filled with a bunch of ruckus and lies and just rubbed me like a cactus. There's something going on here, Frank, and whatever it is, it's dark. And you, Miss Merciless Mary? Now, I've been around you long enough to know when them wheels and that head of yours is spinning. So, tell us, Frank Diamondback Jones, what's the move? Let's get a drink. She dances as hell as her stage. No crosses, or water, or sage. Dance with her, and conjure your fears. Cross her if you dare. She devours flesh and consumes souls at unnerving heat for ghouls. Her pulse begins at dusk. She comes alive in the night. Dance with her. She comes alive in the night. As always, stay low and mind your movements. Hmm. Well, nothing more exciting than learning the truth from a stranger. Child. Come on in. <clears throat> okay. So for a small fee, I I can gaze into your past, your dark past, and and possibly ease the, the concerns you may have for the future, the dark future that's coming towards you very, very quickly. So you mean to tell me I got to pay you to tell me everything I already know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, hey, now. What's wrong with you? I'm reading your palm. I got what I needed from you. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see your family. I see your parents. And they're, they're all dead. All of your family. They're dead. And you see, you are seeking revenge. Yes, you are seeking revenge, though. Though you... You are in darkness, and, and it's cold, it's dark, and cold, and it's... You are, you're in a coffin. You are, you're in a coffin. <laughs> Shocking. No, I'm serious. You do not pay heed to the wind, my child. You will end up in a coffin, dead. Sir. <clears throat> With all due respect, we are living in the wildest of the West. Aside from the lawless and the wicked, anything is liable to send us to our maker. I knew a guy who shit himself to death. A woman that died pleasuring herself with a six shooter. And a very good man that I knew named Arthur, who turned his life around taken away by a disease in the unfairest of ways. Nothing very much frightens me anymore, nor any less. So again, sir, <clears throat> with all due respect, I'm just gonna live my life the best way I see fit. As always, stay low and mind your movements.
The night is young, and the moon is beautiful as ever. Wouldn't you agree, ma'am? It is quite the view. Reminds me of a time when I was a child. You don't say. Yeah. Back when I was just a little old runt, my pa would take me up to this mountain. We would just sit and stare at the moon. I remember it was beautiful and large. I would try to act like I was going to hug it. My pa would yell out, beautiful black Mary, hugging the moon. My pa was a good man. Taught me to lasso that way too. I know it may sound crazy, but I used to think I could wrangle the moon. Long ago, a group of college folk, like yourself, philosophers roam the world. And they thought the moon in its darkness was evil. You don't say. Now do I look like a man that would lie? You were saying. As night creeped in onto the earth, evil would scorch the plain, causing havoc, killing off thousands of pure souls, raping and pillaging women and children, ripping the skin off the men and searing their flesh for all the voles. The souls of innocents would cry out as they were consumed and transformed into the vessels of the dark. That is if they're not killed or eaten. My God in heaven. As this continued till dawn, the sun would get its second wind, plant its feet onto the ground, leaping up to the sky, and again the battle out blow after blow, back and forth, back and forth, till BOOM! <gasps> the sun would be victor, and the moon and its evils would fall. <sighs> For centuries, this continued on till one day man just got fed up, killed off most of the vessels. That is, if you believe in that type of thing. Kurt. There are a few things in this world that send chills down your spine. A child dying too soon, a haunted saloon, your shooter jamming during a duel, and the thought of a rattler locking onto your sack as you relieve yourself of your beans. And trust me, partner, it don't get no more fucked than that. But nothing would come close to the feeling Frank is about to witness. I mean, I ain't yanking your chain. This is one bad layer situation that is unfolding the sanity folds of Frank's brain. The blood-curling sounds of the previously stated vessels, mouth smacking and crunching on the innocent body of who I'd assume was Lionel's long-lost love, as they dig and tear, yank and rip, tongue dancing on the taste of human meat. It's enough to drive a cowboy mad. And right when it can't get no worse, they fire one shot, knocking the fellow off his feet. Goodbye for now, old friend. I will blow a hole in your head, and we will feast on your organs using your soul as dessert for eternity. Do not fuck with me. Now move. To the charge! Get moving! Get moving! Get moving! your knees. As governor and high priestess of this year town, I want to be the first to thank you for your contribution to our higher power. It is with the utmost importance that I, Dallas Lady Packer, inform you that in just a few 
You will become a stew for our higher power to consume and digest with nothing but the clothes on your back shat out and recycled for our townspeople. Never to be heard from again. Forgotten. Wiped. From this here earth. Oh. Now don't be sad. From the moment your little old gang came through this town, I heard it. The higher power spoke to me, told me that it was your ruthless, yet still somehow cleansed souls that he just had to have. He talks to me, you know. Originally, he talked to Pa, but Pa was busted by the law, taking them folks up to the mountain to see the higher power. Never brought him back. Then I began to hear him much more clearly. He calls to me here. But that's neither here nor there. Let me not squander your magnificent slaughter. <laughs> Wade? Yes, sir? Let's introduce Mr. Lionel to our higher power. You whore? What'd you do to my Trisha? <laughs> oh, Lionel. She's either digesting by now or she's in the outhouses. <laughs> You bitch! You bitch! I gotta kill you! I gotta kill you! <laughs> now it's your turn! <laughs> Come on, move it! On your knees! <laughs> I hope you're ready to meet the higher power! <laughs> Best be saying your prayers now. <laughs> Tell me twice. What are we gonna do about that? Yeah, what what we gonna do about that, Frank? Curtains, bitch. There you have it. The incredible, legendary, totally fucking true story of how the Curtain Call Gang invaded a town full of cannibalistic freaks controlled by an ancient creature and lived to ride on another day. Somewhere, we know their relatives are in this so-called futuristic world just wait for a day when another incident occurs. But until then, cowboys and cowgirls, in the words of the baddest sons of bitches to ever roam this here plane, above snakes and below the sun, curtains, bitches. Curtains, bitch. Huh? It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. Better know when it ain't like nothing left at all. It's your curtain call, bitch. It's your curtain call. Nothing left in the end when the curtains fall. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. It's the curtain call, bitch. It's your curtain call. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. It's your curtain call, bitch. Uh, look, thought there was an opposition, but the gang eliminated competition. Ride it all your wrongs like compositions. Make a quick decisions. Cause they gon' get the whip and discipline them like they told them. But they didn't listen. Gotta watch for Lady Pack as she packing the prisons. With the sheriff, they ain't slick, they cause a friction. Whole time wondering why people keep going missing. Legend has it was the curtain. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. Yeah. Better know in the end, like nothing left at all. Yeah. It's the curtain call. Bitch, it's your curtain call. Nothing left in the end when the curtains fall. It's the curtain it call, a gang. It's the curtain call. It's the curtain call, yeah. bitch. It's your curtain call. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. It's your curtain call, bitch. Yeah. Um.
Curtis, bitch. Curtis, bitch. Better go home. If you don't have the chrome, I seen Billy Blaze, Black Mary, and Diamondback Jones. Better go home. If you don't have the chrome, I seen Billy Blaze, Black Mary, and Diamondback Curtis, bitch. Better go home. If you don't have the chrome, I seen Billy Blaze, Black Mary, and Diamondback Jones. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. Better know in the end, like nothing left at all. It's the curtain call, bitch. It's your curtain call. Nothing left in the end when the curtains fall. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. It's the curtain call, bitch. It's your curtain call. It's the curtain call, gang. It's the curtain call. It's your curtain call, bitch. Thank you.